One of the outcomes of having more choices is there's a little bit more for a patient to understand. And so in our attempts to try and communicate with patients, we developed a breast dog guide. What that is, is you can either go online or we have a pamphlet that explains not only the most commonly asked questions by patients, so a patient doesn't have to make a decision on the spot. They can go through the guide. They can be better prepared when they come in, so it's good to have heard about what we're going to talk about first. You take that and add the images that we do for the patient to allow them to see what they're going to look like, and I think they have a better understanding. Our number one philosophy is the more that we can educate our patients and communicate to a patient what they're going to look like, what they're going to feel like, the better result we'll have. If we didn't have a breast dog guide that saw breast augmentation the way we look at it, the patient's only choice was to go online. And while the internet is a tremendous resource, it can also be a, a tremendous resource of misinformation. We thought by being proactive and developing a guide for our patients, we would be able to communicate better and allow them to get good information from a good source all at one place so they don't have to do all that work themselves. At the end of the day, their breast, their chest, their soft tissues dictate the implant that they should have. And if a patient wants something different than what those parameters dictate, that is a setup that they might not have a result that they want. And now that we have communication tools and imaging tools to do that, that feedback goes both ways.